Are you tired of being overcome with adversity? After this video, you'll be encouraged to start again after your latest trauma. Here at Legendary Faith, my goal is to strengthen your faith so that you can live a more purposeful life. No matter what life throws at you, you'll be able to adequately deal with it. Let's face it, the world is not getting any better, but we can choose to never give up and live a more meaningful life. I also have an inspirational podcast, Legendary Faith, that will help you to build a legacy of faith that lives on forever. You can check out this podcast at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or Amazon. So how can we overcome obstacles in this life? How can we rise above and live a more legendary life, a more meaningful life? I'm no stranger to adversity. I've had my share. I've been addicted to alcohol and drugs. I've seen abuse in my lifetime. And my family is imperfect. And I'm guessing that you've had your trouble of adversity as well. Comment below the latest chaos that you're dealing with. So I am challenging you today to place your faith in God to overcome your adversity. When we place our faith in the world, we are sure to be disappointed every time because the world does not have our best interest in mind. But God knows everything about us. He knew us before we were born. Therefore, He knows the beginning to the end. And He even knows that that adversity you're facing, you will get through it. Listen, my testimony is that I tried to overcome all the troubles in my life, my continuing troubles. I tried to overcome that on my own and it only caused me more misery. It only caused me to get up cracking a beer in the morning because the guilt was so overwhelming. And I'm saying that we don't have to have that guilt, that we can have God's help to overcome our troubles in life and live guilt free. I'm the first to say, to say that it's not easy, but it can be done because God knows every trouble that you're facing and that he wants our story to be a testimony to his saving grace. There is a purpose in your pain. There will never be a right time to start. That's why I want you to start today. Give your most recent trouble to God and then trust him with it. And trusting him with it means that we don't worry. We trust in God because he has the final outcome. He just wants us to trust Him. And then we can take necessary actions, do what we can do, and then let God do what He knows to do. And if you don't know Christ, accept Him into your heart today. Confess your sins. And then believe in Him with your whole heart because he has the very best in store for you. And then tomorrow is your next challenge. Begin the day with a devotion or reading your Bible. We have to get our mind stayed on right thinking and in the right direction. We can't be distracted by all the world's concerns. So for example, starting your day off opening up your phone or getting on Facebook would be a distraction. Or turning on the news first thing in the morning. That's also a distraction that the enemy uses to thwart our attention elsewhere. Get us all shook up. Because let's face it, the world is complete chaos right now. 
And if it's one thing the enemy wants, he wants us shook up. But we can choose to, re to remain unshakable. And the last thing I want to share with you today is to be consistent in your battle plan. I must say, and I'm sure you can relate, as a mom, it's hard to have a divine focus on anything. And maybe for you, it's your husband or wife or your sister or brother that has to get up when you get up or the kids running through the house. So we must set our intention ahead of time. And for me, that's getting up at 5 or 5.30 in the morning to open up my devotions or my Bible and just start reading bits and pieces at a time. As long as I'm doing something to get my mind focused on God and away from the world, just don't start your day off with chaos. We have to learn to focus on that which is true and holy. And God has your very best interest in mind, which is why we have to be prepared in advance because the enemy will stop at nothing to drive us away from that plan of God's that is good and holy. One step at a time, we can do this together. So let's recap. How are we going to overcome our most recent adversity? First, we're going to take our troubles to God. We're going to trust Him because He already knows the outcome. And we know it's a good outcome. He just needs our help along the way. And then second, we're going to seek out God first thing in the morning and not the world. Because if it's one thing the enemy wants is to distract us from that good plan that God has for us. And then third, we must remain steadfast in our battle plan. This ensures that we make it to our successful destination and that our adversity is a thing of the past. Stay tuned for more encouraging and inspiring videos that will motivate you to never give up no matter what or who tries to steal your joy. So put a smile on your face even if you're still troubled, even if you're still in pain. Fake it till you make it, right? Because one step at a time, we're going to build our faith, start seeking God, and we're going to see progress. And if you like this video, don't be shy, hit subscribe, and I will do my best to inspire you weekly. And on the next video, it's going to be a good one, tips for new Christians, and also we will talk about forgiveness. And if you're already a believer, don't worry, this is a great one for you as well, because it will revamp your faith. And let's face it, we could all use a little bit of revamping. See you on the next video.